I think, like every student, I was annoyed at first. So it was such a shock, like, <laughs> especially because in well, my group we didn't have an email before, which was really unfair on the lecturer that then had to teach us. It was just that moment of, oh, I've worked so hard on this work and it's not going to be marked. So many emotions go through your head at that point because you put, you put so much in. Like, I myself, I'd been up editing this film until like 6am, colour correcting it and everything. And just the, the moment, I just, I just didn't know what to say or what to do. And embarrassingly, I felt like I wanted to cry, which was stupid. But then it wasn't stupid because you put so much in. I felt angry at that point. And then I thought about it. More things started to come out. And I started to see it from a different point of view and now I'm just really confused. And I feel like it would be better for me to find out more about it and know why. It would just be nice to know why. I decided I wanted to do some more research to understand both sides of the argument. I looked at news articles, UCU and UK's website, as well as other resources. I've done hours of research and I feel like I can make a more educated decision on how I feel. I'm still confused, but the problem seems massive. Um, and the problem is, is that UK say that the USS scheme is in an estimated eight billion pound deficit and so to combat that, they propose lecturers and academics pensions are based on um, a career average. The UCU secretary, Sally Hunt, has said that lecturers will lose thousands of pounds off their retirement. And that's huge because that's how um, they're going to fund their care. That's how they're going to fund looking after their children still. That's how they're going to fund how they're going to live. To find out more, I went to meet Paul Hubert, the UCU representative on campus. So talks are, are carrying on in January, we have suspended action now. What's and currently happening is that the various parties and their actuaries are meeting together to discuss both the background to uh, the proposed changes to the scheme and hopefully to discuss an alternative set of proposals. Will the proposals lose them a lot of money in their retirement? The proposals that were put forward in October would have meant that many people would lose a thousand pounds a year, maybe more, but for some of the higher paid staff it could be tens of thousands of pounds oh. a year. And if you don't come to an agreement with the talks, will you take action again? I think there is strong feeling amongst members and that people will be willing to take action and I think the union will feel if there isn't any agreement and no sign that agreement is close that it's necessary to call people to take action again. Do you think that employers could tackle the £8 billion deficit? I think that employers would be reluctant to um, put that amount of money into dealing with the deficit. They would rather spend the money on other things whether that is justified depends on your point of view. For example, here at Kent, the employers have put up a lot of new buildings in recent years, um, funded with the extra fee income that they have derived from the new funding structure, even if it's not as much as many people think that it is. Um, and you could say that some of these buildings are necessary, but uh, the heart of the university is the teaching and learning. The teaching and learning can't take place without the, the skilled professionals who are knowledgeable in their subject areas. We are at the heart of the university. I thought it would be good to understand the situation from a lecturer's perspective. So today I'm meeting up with Dr Charles de Vaugnier, who is a doctor of political and social thought. You took action when you see when instruct, didn't you? Uh, yes, so I took uh, I took action this year. It was action short of a strike, uh, marking boycott when the union called it. And last year I was on strike uh, for a different a different reason. This year was about pensions. Last year was about pay. Mm. Um, I think it's worth noting that we're only legally allowed to 
uh, take action or go on strike about pay. So we mm. can't have action outside of that. I mean, it's it's mm. one of the things that we're restricted in doing. And do you understand why students were angry about the marking boycott? Mm. Yes, absolutely. I understand why they were angry, and uh, in in a way, we rely on our ang on their anger. We rely on students' anger about uh, not being uh, taught if we go on strike, or their essays or. Uh, various pieces of assessments not being assessed when we take action short of a strike. So we rely on that anger. We hope, however, that that anger can be channeled uh, and that we can convince students that we're in this together yeah. and that the anger should be channeled at uh, the senior management of the universities that uh, are making working conditions worse. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost you a lot of money in your retirement, isn't it? Because mm. it's not going to be... Um, a final, it's not going to be based on your final salary now, it's going to be based mm. on a career average. Mm -hmm. How will that affect? Well, unfortunately for me, I'm already on the career average scheme mm. because in 2010, uh, the employers struck the pensions right. and uh, they won. And so the new members who joined from 2011 onwards are already on a career mm. average scheme. So I'm already on the bad deal. Yeah. So there's already a two track system in the pension scheme. But the point is that I don't want to lose more. We've yeah. already lost quite a bit in 2010 before I got a permanent job. Uh, and I don't want my pension to be hurt anymore. Yeah. I think that we should fight to make our pensions better, to bring them back to the level of pre-2010. Students have been really affected by this issue and I feel it's important that we need to take into consideration their point of view. What do you think about the UCU and the UK conflict? Personally, I haven't had much time to look into it. I mean, uh, what I have seen, however, is the effect that it's had on so many students. And I mean, the thing that we've got to remember is that this is a nationwide thing. Um, this situation is happening at a load of universities and it's going to be affecting probably hundreds of thousands of students. Um, when you measure in the amount of time that each student is spending on assignments that's just been wasted, that they could have been spending on other things, you know, other work. I think it's completely disgusting. It is a very complex situation, what's happened. Um, as a student, personally, when I found out, I felt a lot of anger towards the lecturers, towards the unions, towards like anybody, because I wasn't going to get my work marked. Um, upon further research, looking into it, speaking to lecturers and speaking to different people, I now start to understand why they're doing it. I still don't like how they're using students as a weapon. I believe it's immoral, but that's my opinion to it. And I know why they're doing it. They're doing it for a reason, because we're the only people that they can use as a weapon. The problem is just huge, and I can't see any way to resolve. I just can't find, I just, I just all, all I think is that all the time, people at the top squeeze the people at the bottom and that means that people from high, like UUK and the universities will squeeze their employees the employers will squeeze the employees the lecturers, the academics they have some power to fight back and that's right, I think they should just the one thing that will always happen is that students will always be affected 